ALDS Game 4, Houston Astros, Minnesota Twins. Very quick action to start the game. Jose Ukiti gives up a home run to Royce Lewis in the bottom of the first. Then in the top of the second, Joe Ryan throws a meatball to Michael Brantley. Home run. Jose Ukiti rebounded real well in the bottom of the second, finishing with three strikeouts, retiring the side in order. But now let's move the action ahead to the top of the fourth. A guy that's been killing the Twins this entire series, Jordan Alvarez, singles to center field. Then pitcher Caleb Thablar, who replaced starter Brock Stewart, gave up a home run to Jose Abreu. Alvarez scores, two-run home run. Then we have more action in the bottom of the sixth. Jose Ukiti gives up his second home run, this time to Ed Julian. That made the score 3-2. That ended up being the final score of the game. Houston wins the game and the series, seventh straight year winning the ALDS. NLDS Game 3, Atlanta Braves, Philadelphia Phillies. We're going to start this out here in the top of the first. We got a couple singles from Austin Riley and Matt Olsen. Both got left standing on base. Starting pitcher Aaron Nola started with a ground out to first base and two strikeouts to end the inning. Danny kept it rolling with two more strikeouts in the top of the second. And in the top of the third, we finally get some movement on the bases. Ronald Acuna Jr. hits a double to right field. And the boy Ozzy Albies comes right behind him with a single to right field. Acuna with that speed scores again. Aaron Nola is able to get out of trouble, finishing that inning with a strikeout. And then in the bottom of the third, starting pitcher Bryce Elder gives up a solo home run to Nick Castellanos. He had four strikeouts up to this point, but got a little too friendly with the strike zone. After the home run, Brandon Marsh comes in and singles to right field. A few batters later, Trey Turner comes up and hits a single as well. Bryce Harper comes right behind him, and I don't know why they didn't just walk him, but home run, Marsh scores, Turner scores, three-run home run. And we're going to stay here in the bottom of the third. After the home run, Alec Bohm came in and singled to left field. Then Bryce Elders walked Bryson Stott. After that, coach pulls him. JT Ramuto didn't care about none of that. He came in and hit a double. Bohm scores, Stott scores. Going into the top of the fourth, the score was 6 1. But we're going to move ahead a bit to the bottom of the fifth. Silly enough, Atlanta Braves once again pitched to Bryce Hopper. Not sure why they're not walking them, but once again, another meatball and another home run. In the top of the sixth, Marcel Ozunia came in and singled the left field. Then Kevin Piller was walked by Matt Strom. And Orlando Arcia singled to center field. Ozunia scores. And that was pretty much it for the Braves offense. We got a little more action here in the bottom of the eighth. We got another home run from Nick Castellanos. And on deck batter, Brandon Marsh comes right behind him with another home run. That made the score 10-0, which ended up being the final score of the game. Philadelphia now takes the lead in the series 2-1, and we stand in Philly for game four. In LDS game three, LA Dodgers, Arizona Diamondbacks. This game started out pretty slow for both teams. Didn't get any real action until the bottom of the second when we got two singles from Lourdes Guerrero Jr. and Alec Thomas. A lot of great defense being played in the first couple innings. Everybody jumping on ground outs, fly balls, pop outs. And in the top of the third, we got a single from Kike Hernandez. But still no real motion on the bases until we got to the bottom of the third. And then Arizona went crazy. Now what happened here in this inning has never happened in any other Major League Baseball playoff game. Four home runs in one inning all off of Lance Lynn. What the hell was coach thinking leaving him in the game? And I know we call them managers in baseball, but I'm changing that title because there's no way he's keeping this job after this season. Let me put this in perspective for you. Lance Lynn gave up 44 home runs this year. I mean, with that, I can probably get out there and knock a devil on him right now. <laughs> I mean, dude got no control on the strike zone at all. He throwing straight meatballs right down the plate. A sequence of home runs, one to Geraldo Perdomo, another to Cattell Marte, another to Christian Walker, and then the last one to Gabriel Morano. I mean, I can feel my voice getting deflated just saying that. I know the team was deflated. And LA really just couldn't get anything going after that. 
In the top of the seven, they got a little bit of action. Max Muncy hit a single. Will Smith hit a single. Chris Smith singled to left field, and Muncy scored. Smith went to second base. Kike singled to left field. Smith scored. Taylor to second base. But that was pretty much it for both teams. In the bottom of the ninth, Will Smith singled to right field, but got left standing on base. Dodgers lose this game 4-2, and they lose the series. Dodgers finish the season with 100 wins and get swept in the playoffs by a team with just 84 wins.